Hello Year 10, I hope you are safe and I hope you're well and I hope you've been enjoying this beautiful weather that we've been having and maybe even meeting up with a friend or between one and six friends but socially distant, keeping two metres apart at all times obviously and I suspect you're meeting up to revise poetry or inspect calls or something else English related which thrills my heart to know that you obviously are doing that. Um, today's video is going to be on paper one and we're just going to look at a question at a time. So today's paper one, question one. And question one is really simple. It's about finding four things. It's kind of a uh, getting you started type of question when it comes to the exam. However, don't underestimate the need for those four marks because later on in the paper you might be kind of really wrestling and really trying and really doing your best to kind of get four out of eight marks or you know, to do a 12 mark question and maybe you only scrape four marks because of timing or something like that. So these four marks are really easy to get and bag them quickly is what I'd say. So let's go through this question. It's really straightforward. It's really simple. Basically, you have to find four things related to whatever the question is asking for. So it might be find four things about the description of a tree or find four things about what it says about the family or find four things about the weather. Um, at the beginning of the article. It will also have a limited um, area for you to look within. So for example, it will specify what lines it wants you to find those four things in. So it might be find four things between lines one and eight, or find four things between one line, lines one and four. So it's really straightforward, really simple. So key things I would say is, read the question, know what four things you are finding, about, um, make sure you know what that it, the things that you find are really relevant. Know what lines it refers to. If I were you, I'd actually draw a line underneath the last line um, so that you know that you are finding the four things within the lines that it's suggested. Always check that the four things that you have found definitely relate to the questions. So this is an example I wanna go through with you. You are about to see an article about a boy and a bear. Here's the article. And I would like, you, I'm going to read through this article with you. And it says, behind you, Italian boy stays cool to keep bear at bay on alpine stroll. And that's the headline and the question is find four things about the boy between lines one and five so find four things about the boy between lines one and five so here's lines one and five i'll read them to you now a 12 year old italian boy who came face to face with a large brown bear during an alpine stroll has been praised for his courage and composure after he turned and walked slowly away. So obviously, hopefully you've written down four things that you found about the boy between those lines one and five. Four things that you could have found is that he was 12 years old. Very simple, that he's 12, that he's Italian. Those two things, don't be tempted to put 12 year old Italian boy as two, as one thing. That's not one answer. You can actually split that and get two, reap two marks from it. So that he's 12, that he's Italian, that he came face to face with a bear, that he's been praised for his courage and composure, and that he turned and walked slowly away. So there's five things up for grabs there. You need to just find four of them. So any one of those four, well done, give yourself four marks. You can, in this question, quote directly. So you can literally write 12 year old boy, Italian, praised for his calm and composure, turned and walked slowly away. You can use the words in the article. You can also write those in bullet points, as long as you get the four things. As I said, it's a really simple, straightforward question. So what I would like you to go and do now is, I would like you to either find on the internet or find around the house a book or a magazine or a newspaper, anything, a back of a cereal packet, literally anything, and read the first paragraph and then say, right, I'm going to write down four things to do with such and such. So for example, if you've got a newspaper or if you can search the internet for 
um, for an article, maybe you're going to go, I'm going to write down four things about Boris Johnson. Very relevant, re very now, you can find four things about Boris Johnson easily. Type in Boris Johnson to Google, search for Boris Johnson news articles, maybe in a magazine or a newspaper you've got around the house, look for something on Boris Johnson. Read the first couple of paragraphs, write down four things about him. Make sure that it's relevant, make sure you've got four. You can use the direct quotations um, from the articles and you can put it in bullet points. You can do that with anything. If you're doing Inspector Calls revision, you could go, I'm going to write down four things about Mr. Burling. Maybe read um, some revision notes on Mr. Burling, write down four things. You could do um, Christmas Carol, I'm going to write down four things on Scrooge. Write some revision notes you've got on Scrooge, write down four things. You can literally use this, as I said, for anything. So please have a go, have a go at question one. Pick something, write down four things on it, make sure it's relevant, make sure you've used, you can use flat quotations, you can write it in bullet points. Have a go at question, paper one, question one. Thank you, bye.